Hi there, it's Lerald. Today I'm going to be talking about the new feature in Dragonflight Patch 10.0.5, the Trading Post. This just released on February 1st after a few false starts where people were able to get a bunch more coins than Blizzard intended, and so they had to disable it and perform an extended maintenance period. It's been a whole big deal, but now it's here and it's working, and it's pretty neat. So let's start with the basics. What is it? It's an in-game shop where you spend coins earned in-game to buy cosmetic items. First off, it's a fully account-wide system. The rewards, currency, and challenges are all account-wide, which is a great step forward for Blizzard. This isn't some annoying set of chores that starts out fun and gets frustrating by the time that you've done it on 50 different characters to get everything. You can do stuff all on one character or spread out over a bunch of characters. Either way is fine and it all works just fine. I hope they learn from making this system account wide and start expanding that out into other aspects of the game. Another thing I've seen tossed around a bit is that this is WoW's version of a battle pass, and it's sort of like a battle pass in WoW, but not exactly. A battle pass is a thing you spend money on in a game you already have. That's not how this works. This is free. You still need a subscription or game time to play WoW, and you have to actually play the game to make use of the trading post, but that extra component of a battle pass, the part where you pay extra money on top of money you've already spent on the game, that's not part of the trading post. And that's good. Now let's look at what's available to buy in the trading post. It is only cosmetics, mounts, pets, weapon and armor transmogs, weapon enchant illusions, that sort of thing. There's no player power to be found here. This is all about looking good. But as the saying goes, look good, feel good, feel good, play good. The stock of available items changes every month. For the month of February, the highlights are the Celestial Steed, which was previously a store mount, the Fury of the Fire Lord, a cool Ragnaros-themed one-handed flail mace transmog, Garlock, this little ogre pet, a full pirate transmog set, a purple recolor of Edict of Arcus, the staff from Archimonde and Hellfire Citadel, and a bunch of other transmogs as well. These rewards do rotate on a monthly basis, so there's an incentive for logging in at the first of every month and seeing what's new. So what if there's something that you really want from the trading post, but you can't afford it that month? Or maybe there's something that's just okay, but you don't really want to spend all your coins on it because what if something way cooler comes along next month and now you can't afford it then? You can freeze rewards, and there's no limit on how long you can keep something frozen. A frozen item moves to the top of the list and you can look at it and buy it whenever you like. If you unfreeze something outside of the month in which it was available, it won't be available anymore, so be wary about that. But otherwise, I think this works fairly well. There's no limit to swapping around your frozen item if you change your mind, other than if it's something that's unavailable during the month that you're unfreezing it. All right, now let's talk about coins, because that's the main component of this system, other than obviously buying cool stuff with them. All of these items cost coins, and there are three ways to get coins. The first way is to log on and open the chest beside the trading post once a month. When you log in for the first time after this has gone live, you will get a quest sending you right there and giving you some extra coins for doing so. You can open that chest up once at any point during the month, although I know I will be making a beeline at the first of each month right to that chest because I gotta have those coins. That's 500 coins a month. The second way is to just own Dragonflight. If you buy Dragonflight, you get 500 coins, and that is retroactive, so whether you bought it the moment it was available for pre-order, or the day it came out, or you don't buy it until next week or next month, you're still getting those 500 coins. You don't have to own Dragonflight to interact with this system, but it is a big part of it, and it, it is the modern, you know, the current expansion of the game. And lastly, the main interaction with the system is the monthly challenges. They're merged into the adventure guide. I believe the default keybind for that is Shift J. This is a month by month system and you have tons and tons of ways to earn points. For every 200 points you earn, you get 100 coins. 
The maximum amount of coins you can earn each month is 500, so you only need to earn a thousand points a month to cap out the system, and you can easily earn several thousand points. So it's very easy relative to the amount of ways you have to earn points to hit that cap. Once you hit that 1000 point cap, you get a really awesome looking mount named Ashadar Harbinger of Dawn. It's a high resolution remodel of the classic Spectral Tiger mount. It changes colors depending on whether it's day or night as well, it's very cool. Presumably there will be other amazing rewards in future months, but at this point we don't know for sure. We were only able to test the rewards for February on the PTR, so I guess we'll just have to check back again in March. Just to give some more examples here, you get 200 points for completing 5 Mythic Plus dungeons of any level, or 15 pl Mythic Plus dungeons of any level, points for completing 30 quests, killing 25 raid bosses from any raids, including raids from past expansions, you get 200 points for killing 10 Dragonflight raid bosses, you get 50 points for earning 5,000 gold from the auction house. There's tons of stuff to do. This system integrates with monthly holidays really nicely as well, as there are tons of ways to earn points by completing components of the Love is in the Air holiday that starts on February 6th. We're talking do the dungeon boss one time, make a bracelet once, uh, do some of the quests in uh, Silver Pine Forest. There's tons of things to do. A lot of the challenges for a month will follow a theme. Valentine's Day is in the month of February, so a lot of the challenges involve emoting slash love on various NPCs. You can slash love all the NPCs at the trading post. You can slash love dead dragon bosses in old raids like Anixia and Nefarian. You can slash love the dragon aspects in Valdraken. And those are all super easy ways to get some quick points this month. You may even log in to find that you've already finished some of the challenges. For example, one of the February challenges is to complete all the side quest lines in the Waking Shore. I already did that, so I logged in and I just had 200 points for the month. Not bad. I really like the trading post. It looks really good. The NPCs have unique voice lines. They have little display areas and even some mannequins set up to show off the transmogs available. There are cool mounts. Uh, some nice pets that you can buy, and it's just all very fun and, and really well done by Blizzard. I also really like that Blizzard is giving uh, incentives to play the game each month that go beyond the traditional acquisition of player power. Having a lot of fun, lighthearted things to do in game is something that World of Warcraft has been short on for years. This kind of thing really makes the game a lot more fun. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.